Hello friends, myself Professor Vinod Pillai. Welcome to C++ programming session. In today's session, we'll be learning one of the concepts of C++, that's friend function. We'll be seeing three major topics, that's what is friend function or you can say why we need friend function, exact need of it. Secondly, we'll be seeing if we understand what is friend function and what is its need, then how we can create friend function in C++ and what are the rules and regulations you have to follow while creating the friend function. First and foremost, what is friend function? Friend function is a special type of function. Only difference is that it is having a friend keyword in front of it. So is it just, just putting a friend keyword in front of a function makes a friend function? No. Then why we need friend function? That is also comes into a picture. When we have different types of functions are available, then what is a special need for us to create a function called friend? or how its name comes to it. Let's see a simple example. Whenever we create a class, suppose say student, we can have n number of functions in it. These all our functions are simple functions. And these functions have one special characteristics that is that they use the concepts of encapsulation that is wrapping of data and function into a single unit. There is another need of it also that is the data which is or the variables which are there in the class they are private to the class and we want it to be secure that means only the functions within the class can access those access those private functions private variables that is the fundamental concept says. Now assume we have two classes And suppose we have some function in the faculty. Suppose we have two classes that is one is student and one is faculty class. Student class is having two variables that is ID and marks of the student. Faculty is having a variable called ID for the temporary. Now what is my expectation is that I want from the faculty class to access the variables or you can say the private variables of the student class. Now this is not quite possible. The reason is I'm having a set marks method in the faculty class. Now this method can only access the private variables of the faculty class. If I want to access the variables of private variables of student class then the set marks method should be in the student class. Now we want that functionality to be given to faculty class. Now here comes the problem of encapsulation that is only the functions of the same class can access or only the functions of the same class public can access the variables of the that class private variables. So display can access ID and marks of student because display is written in the student class. Display can't access the ID of faculty class in the same way set marks can't access the private variables of student class. Now how to solve this problem? This problem can be solved with the help of friend class, friend method. By making a method as friend, we are officially saying that this class agrees to access the private variables of this or this class is ready to access the private variables of that particular student class. How to do that? Let's see that. So I hope so you have fundamentally understand what is the need of friend class. When we have more than two classes and the two classes, more than two classes, it may be three or four. If suppose we have more than one class and those classes want to access each other's private variables in different classes then it is possible with the help of friend functions. Without that, it is not possible. Okay, so let's see an example. We understand the needs. So first and foremost, we need more than one class. So I assume we have two classes. One is first class and another one is a class called second. Both are having private variables. First is having a variable called val. Second is having a variable called val2. Okay, so both are having private variables. Now val1 is accessed in the display function of first class. Val2 is accessed in the, uh, in the public functions of the second class. So simply the val is having a first class is having a set value method and a display method in which I will pass a temporary value where that value will be passed to the val1. Similarly display will be showing it. Timely we'll skip the friend concept and in the second class does the same concept.
now what is my requirement is something like this I created two object f1 for first class s1 for second class I have assigned the value and I displayed the value now what happens if suppose I say sum I want to do the sum of f1 and s1 what is my intention is f1's val1 and s1's val2 should be summed and displayed now these two what is my requirement says if I repeat it if it looks something like this, f1's val1 plus s1's val2 should be sum now the major problem is val1 and val2 are private variables so I can't write like this way this is officially not possible second problem comes if I write a function inside one particular class then if I write a function in the first class then s1's val2 will not be accessed because val2 is a private variable of second class if I write in the if I think about second class then I can't access val1 because it is a private variable of first class so this problem can be solved with the help of friend function because pre previously only we have discussed with the help of friend function two classes can access each other's private data internally so rule number one how to do that now first thing you have to declare friend method friend method declaration is done in each and every class only declaration so first and foremost you have to assign friend what is your expectations so I'm expecting a second value second Ariel that is a second object should be having it so my return type will be of type second so second whatever the functions name is and you pass the argument so I'll pass f1 as the first object s1 as the second object to these methods so friend function declaration is done in all the classes so if you want to do this same task with three different classes then the declaration of friend function will be done in the three of the classes so I've declared it so I have to done the same task I have to repeat copy and paste the same code inside the second class also so both the class agrees that these are my friend functions and I'll allow them to these functions to be allowed my access private variables now third comes the logic now the logic generally comes outside the class only okay so in the when you write any functions outside the class generally you have to follow the scenario that is return type class name scope resolution and this way but as it is a friend function it will not have a uh, class name it will not have a scope resolution even you will not have a friend keyword also so it will be simple second sum first obj and this thing now what is my expectation I have to return a second type so I've said second Ariel Ariel dot val2 that is a value which is accessing fobj1 dot val1 so how it has happened when I call some function from here I'm passing f1 value and s1 value f1 value will be copied to fobj and s1 value will be copied to sobj and even though this method is outside still it can access the private variable because this method is a friend method and finally I'm returning the Ariel's value okay so in this way we have seen that we can access friend method outside we can access private variables outside the class with the help of friend methods and the third rule you have to remember in friend case is that as friend function is not a function of particular class so it will be called as a normal function so you have to simply call some you don't have to say s1 dot display or s1 dot set data or f1 dot set data because set and value set value and display are a particular methods of the class sum is not a particular method for any class it's a simple friend function which is being commonly shared by both the classes so you don't have to call with the help of objects if you try to do that you get an error okay so I hope so you have understood it in initial phase we have seen what is friend function you have seen we have understood that friend function is used when we want to share two classes want to share their private variables to be accessed from different different classes then with the help of friend function we can do it we've seen the code we've seen that how in the declaration we have to only have to write, write friend in the definition we don't have to write friend while calling we have to call by normally not by objects and all the rules and regulations we have seen still if you have any queries or any comments you can post to me okay if you like the videos please pass the link YouTube link to other friends and you can subscribe my YouTube also thank you and have a nice day